for this part, you can scale these inward, just like that, or you can have outlines to cover it. But now that you've scaled it like that, you want to... Oh wait, no, you want to scale this far back, actually. The uh, This is where the ammo will come in. So you want to build a wall around this part, like you know how you build the walls around the on the handle that's how you want to build it like you'll have a spot outside like this and um, it will it will cover enough so you can just paint oh wrong color so paint these gray so basically just fill this part in with glass oh yeah how could i forget uh um where is it the neon yes these blocks these are important it looks so epic you'll have these scale it into the middle this is like that you know the railgun has this like laser that's like shooting through um you want one that is like in the middle like that yes don't make it poke all the way out just like that boom and then you'll fill this part in with glass it will look like the real the real deal. You don't have to add it, but I suggest you add glass to make it look the most realistic. Yes. You know how it is. So, now let's work on this part. Sorry, just wait. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Anyways, let's work on this part. So that part's just for design, you know, to show the yeah, stuff and stuff. You can also add the grapple handle that was here. It's made of, if I could just scroll up, why is this so janky? Okay, here's how I made the handle, not too far from the trigger. Um, it's around here, just scale it like that. Make sure it's one scale in thick, so like that. And then maybe just around that much. That, yeah, that seems right. So you wanna place these two blocks just right there, one, actually no, just like this, one, scale this one all the way back, and then have it here, make sure it's a full block thick, here's how you can tell, you place one over, perfectly aligned, if it's like this, it won't perfectly align, do you see how it's not perfectly aligned, yeah, that's, that's how you know, so now just scale it inward, scale it on the outside, Oh, it's 20 minutes already. Okay. Um. So, this part is a full block, I guess. Yeah. Now, this part, you will paint red. So, just set that to red. Boom. There you go. You know how it is. Yep. Uh. Now, you can choose how big you want to make it. But basically, here's how you're going to make it. Put two blocks there. Make it like this, and then scale one to the side, like that, like so. So now you want to scale it all the way back like this, and then scale it upward like that. So you'll choose how much you want it to, how much you want to appear. You'll just place one block here. Place it all the way to the end. And however big you want to make your ammo, that's how big you're going to make it. So you want to make this go in there. Scale it all the way to the bottom. Obviously, you're going to paint these. The <laughs> Not red. Not red. This part's gray. Um, now make sure it is directly inside here. Just like that. Like that. Like, you, do you see that? Yes. So you're going to have a little opening scale upward uh oh wait no S set your scale to one now it's kind of hard to see yeah there there's an opening you can see that um as you can see a rod can fit inside there oh wait yes like that but now what you want to do scale this inward make it match with everything else just like that now you want to make sure that this scale is actually one. So you want to place 
a titanium directly level with the thing so if it's able to fully make it without a hole oh that means it isn't so if there's still a hole you can see then scale that inward now that's going to be the size of your ammunition so hmm, how do you make ammo here's how you make ammo now you want to add one scale it downward set your scale to one i forgot now place one set your scale to one all the way down just like that just like this there you go i don't know if this is good enough but it should look something like this now what you want to do is take a neon block if you're if you're making a blue railgun then i suggest you make all these parts like this color but i'm making a red one that's my favorite one i like my favorite color is red so red is best yes why is it not leveling so you want to take this and scale it like that so once it's around this part that's where you want to scale it in so up one and then all the way so basically you can do this you can place stack them like this and then scale it down stack them like this now scale it down now you want to start at the top because if you start at the bottom it will it, it will fall or un unless if you're setting it anchored at first and then unanchoring it so scale this for now just scale it at least where it will penetrate through the titanium as you can see this obviously penetrates through the titanium quite <laughs> i've overdone it so make sure it actually goes over this part you don't want to actually you don't want it to do you want it to no it's not that bad oh wait did i do this wrong nah boom Oh wait, no. I think I did this. All right. Where is this? Um. So now what you want to do is take butter blocks. Make sure this does connect. So you can have it start by here. And then it will continue going up just like that. There. So make sure it's connected to all. Then you can delete later all the titanium. Okay, whatever. That uh, I'll do it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So now, um, wherever the hole is, now what you want to do is have a representation, basically a spot that will show how the in how um long the inside of the thing is so that will show you how much you how big you have to scale the actual thing so you can take any block i'll just use plastic i guess once it's leveled like that oh yeah set this one anchored actually now make sure it goes to the point where there is that part so now you want to scale it upward oh oops now scale these to the left like this oh yeah um, i'm mainly doing this because it's annoying when my when i have to teach this manually to all my friends and it's i've stopped um teaching them manually so I guess I can actually share this video with them so that they will know how to <laughs> build it. Like, you don't know how annoying it is. See, this recording is already almost 30 minutes long. And, um, uh, yeah, um, it's actually quite long, man. Okay, so now that you've scaled it properly with a tracer, um, you can have 
a specific button that oh yeah i gotta oh fine you'll see how the art should i fine you'll see the rpg okay there we go now what that button did since it was key binded it clicked the butter and threw the ammo in here now what you want to have oh wait oh on the inside you want to make if you did what you want to make a wall yeah a wall like this you actually want this to be open yeah you want this to be open my bad but you want to have it all the way to the bottom until you see this one stud just i'm going to leave this part open so that you can see how the demonstration works but um this is where you're going to place your magnet if i can find it please oh my gosh okay here did i just miss it okay so you want to place your magnet here we'll have this key binded to a button um i want to key bind this to a specific button actually no i don't gotta do that just click it it'll pull it in shoot it out yes and obviously you can build the rest just make it collision off but other than that i think i can end it off there you want to see the gun in action here's how it looks like just Oh wait, is it? It's not retracting anything. Did it actually seriously glitch? Or did it get caught onto something? Oh yeah, you can scale this one out if you want. I'm not too sure what the problem is. Oh, you had a range or something? Right, I'm, de <laughs> I'm deleting that. Yeah, but other than that, I guess that's how you can build a railgun. But you don't have to, you don't, um, like my old gun, there, there is this part. I basically just used an image so you can build the rest of that. Just make sure that for this part, when you're building it, you want to make it a pipe. You want to make the actual hole a pipe. So what I mean by that is if I'm going to make the hole... I want to make sure that it, you can also scale this as well, and this, and then if you want any other, if you want to make other, other parts that, so you can use this to just scale the hole, so basically that's just to make the rest of the rail gun, but y uh, what I did is you'll have a second pipe at the top. Since, you know, the railgun has a space in the middle. And this just means it's this huge. But the, thi the thing that you can do is you'll have a handle. So you can use a blank block. I suggest using maybe metal. And you'll, s you'll surround it like this. You can use plastic. It doesn't seem like I'll have enough of this. Yep, I may not. But basically, this handle, you'll just paint it red. If you are making that red. Or you can also make it titanium. Other than that, that's the basic of how I made the mechanic of the railgun. I don't know if I could consider this showcase. It's more of how, how you build it. But I'll still consider it showcase. Showcase, what, 2.1 of um, Arsenal guns. So yeah, that's it. Um, to my friends who I'm going to show you this, uh, please watch it. I'm not going to manually teach you how to build an arsenal railgun. You, it's so hard. That's the only reason why I'm making this video. To show my friends how to build <laughs> these. Like, I'm not doing it manually. D I've taught my one of my friends manually. Two days later, show it to one of my f or one of my friends joins me, and I show it to them, and uh, it takes. I don't want to do another thirty minutes to show my friend how to build an epic gun. But anyways, that's the rail gun. Hope this was helpful. Um. Anyways, I'll end it here. Peace. NJ Dodger, yo yo, a. <laughs>
Thank you.